Here's how to really cash in on this year. Number one, get serious. Life is serious. We call it life or death. Somebody asked me one time if I had a good description of life. I said, yes, I think I've got a good one. Life is the struggle to keep death at a respectable distance. Right? Death seems to want to move in prematurely, prematurely. If you want to live a good, long, flourishing life, you've got to push back. You can't just give in, you've got to push back. And we're dealing with some serious matters here. So we can't just, you know, tell the latest 10 jokes and just go home. We're not here to entertain. We're here to instruct, we're here to grow, we're here to learn. We're here to get the best we possibly can. Serious, life is serious. The future is serious. One ancient novelist said, these are the best of times and these are the worst of times. And for some of those who came across this platform at the extravaganza, million dollar a year incomes, for them, it's the best of times. But I want you to know that while they're getting the diamonds and the millions, there are a lot of people around the world, for them, it is the worst of times. The best of times and the worst of times. That's called serious matter. How come such a difference from those who can reach such incredible heights and those who haven't yet found the answers for their life and their health and their future? We just have to ponder that and let that give us a note of seriousness, a note of seriousness. It's serious whether you win or lose. It's serious whether you succeed or fail. It's serious whether you've got a good future carved out for yourself or you do not have. These are serious matters. Matters of the heart are serious. Matters of income are serious. Matters of supporting your family, serious. Are you serious? Why? We've got a serious matter here to discuss. We haven't come with the latest 10 stories. We've come with a serious matter. And I want you to take on that serious tone. You've got some serious products that answer a serious need out there in the marketplace. And I'm asking you to take it serious. Take your own future serious. What you can do for your family, take it serious. Here's number two, get smart. At the, that's what these journals are for. That's what pad and pencil's for. That's what taking notes is for. See if you can't increase your ability to comprehend ideas, information that can be life transforming. Don't miss the opportunity to learn. Take a good key phrase home, use it in your training. Don't be lazy in learning. Don't be casual in learning. Get smart. Here's a couple of parts to it. Number one, your own personal experience. Right? If you've had a bad week, just sit down and ponder that for a while. Study it. See if you can't pick up some ideas from a poor week and then make a better week. Okay? Learn from your own experiences. One way to learn to do it right is do it wrong. I mean, you know, that's one way to learn to do it right. Do it wrong. Now, the key is don't let it take too long. If you've done it wrong for a year, we suggest that's long enough. You don't need another year just to prove a point. No, one year's enough. Learn from your own experience, right? The possibility for life change starts with education. Don't be lazy in learning. Don't be lazy in picking up the ideas. Don't be lazy in learning from your own experience. Learning is the beginning of wealth. Learning is the beginning of life change. Some people want to start with motivation. You don't start with motivation. Somebody says, just motivate this guy, he'll be all right. The answer is no, probably not. If a guy's an idiot, you motivate him, now you've got a motivated idiot. So education, get smart, don't miss the training class. You say, well, I've already been to one of those classes. I've already heard it. I've got a good phrase for you to take home. That's no sign you got it. Just because you've listened to those millionaire tapes one time is no sign you've got it. I'm asking you to listen to them over and over and over. I'm asking you to dedicate yourself to a new level of learning.